What's up everyone, how y'all doing today? So, me and Moody are back today for the CS2 glove tier list. Now, we have both spent a... Bro, is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, we are here today. You know, we've spent a massive amount of time with these gloves. We've seen all the patterns. We've tested glove knife combos. So, you know, we have a lot of background knowledge on all these gloves. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're going to give our opinions, thoughts on these. We're going to try and give gloves the benefit of the doubt. But, you know, if it's bad, it's bad. If, if it's good, you know, it's going to S. So with that being said, uh, let's start off with the Bloodhound gloves. All right. So these gloves in my opinion these particular pair of gloves the gorillas are the worst pair of gloves in the entire game and i don't think anything comes close to how terrible these are you got this atrocious mix of green brown and red okay i don't know why i thought to add that red in there it just makes it worse i just can't stand these gloves yeah these gloves are bad there's nothing that works in terms of knives and you know we've got red on a camo pattern it's just terrible gloves overall i don't think anybody really uses these it's uh, unfortunately we start with an f tier all right next up uh we have bronzed and these are a little bit better these have potential for glove knife combos they look decent overall once again it's on the bloodhound you know glove uh frame so it's it's kind of difficult to make it work but it is bronze and silver so you can match it with the vanillas and stuff like that they're not good gloves but you can make them work i kind of wish these gloves were like this pattern was on a different pair of gloves i actually think this would look pretty good but i mean these are not terrible they're not my favorite but I, they're not i, could, I feel they, like you can make them work i mean once again i think it's it's d tier in reality it's just not yeah. much you can do all right so the charred gloves are actually kind of decent uh you really can't go wrong with a black pair of gloves um the red on them is a nice little compliment too but generally again i'm not a big fan of these figures gloves with the spikes they just look so edgy for absolutely no reason <laughs> um but these are these are fine these are okay yeah, for sure. I, I think these are, as far as Bloodhound gloves go, these are decent. You can match them with the uh, Autotronic knives, you know, something like a Huntsman looks very nice with these. But, you know, basing the glove by itself, it just, you know, it, it doesn't have a lot to work with. The colors are okay, but the overall design of Bloodhound gloves, I mean, as much as I would love to put it in a, a C tier, I don't think... They're Bloodhound gloves, man. I, I just don't know if they can even breach D tier, in my opinion. Uh, I, I don't think so either. In, in the general scheme of things, these gloves really just don't have a lot to work with. I mean, they have to go in D tier. All right, next up is Snake Bite, and I'm personally not the biggest fan of this snake scale, you know, mesh. I know some people enjoy them. In terms of, you know, the application on these gloves, it's okay. The gloves, they're they look oh, they're not terrible, you know. They're they're somewhat clean in terms of the overall design, but they don't look good. I like the golden little spikes. I like the golden bloodhound, you know, symbol. But these gloves are okay in terms of bloodhound gloves. And yeah, I really can't say the same. I think these are absolutely an eyesore. <laughs> um, and I think it mostly comes to do with, like, just the fact that you have, like, this flat orange little patch with the snake pattern and this the matte black leather of yeah. the snakes of the bloodhound i just don't know i don't think these look good at all in my opinion these are actually f tier in my opinion it, you can't match them with uh any sort of you know gloves or anything it, it doesn't work with anything no potential i i d tier i'll do d tier but in my opinion yeah, those you are probably bad. think f tier yeah all right so we got the mangroves um i i really don't even know why these gloves exist in the game uh, these look so bad, in my opinion. I just cannot stand this bog-looking green and brown. It just looks bad. That's all I really have for it. It just looks bad. I don't even think it deserves better commentary than that. Yeah, I mean, Hydro Gloves, you can make them work. These colors are just awful. I, I mean, I don't think a lot of people like a bunch of brown. You know, it's just a bunch of shades of brown. It really doesn't work. I mean, <laughs> I kind of want to throw it in F tier, but I'm stuck between D no, and F. I, I say F tier. These are pretty bad. They're, they're, they're bad. They're bad. All right. Um, so the newly revamped, well, not newly, but, you know, revamped case are in gloves that have patterns. So I think these are one of the better Hydra gloves. You know, um, my only gripe with this glove set is the fact of the, how the case are in pattern is applied. It looks like tin foil texture. I don't, I really just don't like the texture on the gloves. It, it looks weird. I will give it points for being pattern based so you can make it work with, you know, uh, other case hard knives. Uh, but overall, I think these look a little bit tacky, but you can make them work. 
Yeah, like, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy these, but I will say, you know, at least you can get a blue gem glove. You get, like, a blue gem left hand. You know, that's kind of cool. I think it definitely has a little bit more versatility compared to a lot of the other Hydra gloves and Bloodhound gloves. So, I think these are relatively okay. I, w I would be fine with putting them in C tier. For sure. I think we, we have our first C tier, finally. That's, that's, that's a rough start. <laughs> All right, so we have the Emerald hydra gloves which pretty much look like the green version of the red bloodhound gloves and considering there aren't that many green gloves in the game i have to say these are these are serviceable i actually don't despise these i think i like the hydra like emblem a little bit more than the mm -hmm. bloodhound one so it just peels a little bit better to me and the silver spikes look a little bit better but you know i don't like the model of these but it's it's fine i think these are okay for sure uh i do like how that it's green you know matches the hydras uh, in terms of like you mentioned green there's not a lot of green gloves and these are very cheap so if you think about getting like a cheap you know budget green glove knife combo these are absolutely serviceable you could you know toss them in with like a cheaper gamma doppler and i think it would look pretty decent i think these are c tier yeah i agree all right next up we have rattler and once again these aren't the greatest thing in the world a uh, very terrible colors in my opinion just because it's a bunch of brown hard to make them work with anything matter of fact i tr when i was doing a glove knife uh combo video i tried to make these work like i was fighting for my life there is okay can somebody in the comments tell me what these gloves work with because i don't think they work with anything in the game oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't even know if that works bro the rattler in my opinion if you really like snake skin, there are way better choices that are coming up later in the list with better gloves. So you, there's no point in running these. I think these are very subpar gloves. I, I, we didn't even know what the hell these were named before we looked at the <laughs> yeah. list of all of the Hydra we gloves. Had no so idea. I, I think that speaks for Dude, itself. Yeah, I, I think this is D tier for sure. <laughs> all right, so we have our first pair of Broken Fang gloves. Now these are uh i don't really know what the hell to think about these these are kind of ugly in my opinion yeah they're actually just kind of ugly in my opinion i don't really like the colors on them i don't like the pattern on them i like the red uh like kind of mesh and that's about it i think these gloves <laughs> look pretty bad i these are like i don't even see these ever I, i've never seen anybody actually run these in game I've, i haven't seen people make it work i i don't know these are just so like just off the off topic no nobody uses them i think it's a d tier i think they're d tier they're pretty bad all right next up we have yellow banded and i am pleasantly surprised these actually look quite decent they're they're vibrant we've got a nice mix of black and yellow the actual broken fang logo is like genuine gold color which looks nice the cuff is yellow overall i mean i i can't complain for you know you know this type of glove i think they look pretty good they stand out and you could definitely use something you know like a black laminate or maybe a maybe a tiger tooth i don't know i haven't tested that but you can make this work is what i'm saying and they stand out in game yeah i won't even lie i'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised by these gloves this actually uses the lines and the pattern block of the broken fang gloves really well and for that i gotta give a credit where credit is due this might be one of the best broken fangs uh, actually one of the best like fingerless spike gloves available okay uh i don't know if b tier that might be a little too ambitious b tier I, I i would personally like to put them in b tier because i do think they have great potential and they look decent in reality Ooh. uh when, when we get to better gloves and we're gonna be like oh you know it's gonna be in the same tier as this we're gonna be like it doesn't make sense so we we have to put them in c tier yeah but for yeah. my yellow banded enjoyers i think they're good gloves uh, for what they are and the price yeah. they sit at all right so we have the unhinged broken fang gloves these are actually good snakeskin gloves they have a very nice black and white look they look you look like the cheap version of the king snakes but we'll get to those later i think when it comes down to these gloves these are the best you're gonna get for broken fang gloves they look good they have a nice silver black white loadout i mean mm -hmm. how can you go wrong with this colorway in my opinion you're not you're not doing bad if you own these i think these are good for the price especially 
even if you look at like what this vanilla butterfly and we're using butterfly because you could see the inner palm if you're wondering but uh even with this vanilla butterfly like it's a great combo i mean they're neutral gloves you know we have black silver and gray the accents are silver looks clean they're not over the top they do use the snake mesh you know pattern but it works here you know uh, these are solid solid cheap gloves and they can work in a lot of instances i don't mind putting them in b tier yeah i think we have our first b tier here very nice all right next up we've got jade and uh i'm a little torn here because honestly we talked about how green gloves are pretty rare in uh cs uh, and this is one of the better options you know and they're also cheap we have a nice mix of bronze and green uh you could definitely make this work with certain cheaper green knives in the game my one issue with these is the texture you know once it's the same yeah. thing with the case harn where the texture makes it like tin foily you know like a plastic not plasticky but you get what i'm saying it, it just looks a little weird with this green finish the colors are excellent though yeah i think this color should be on other gloves i think this actually looks really nice for again for broken fang gloves i think these are really nice and i can't even really complain with them uh if i had to rank them i'd probably put Between them in c, c tier top um, of c tier uh top behind c behind case harns behind the case harns for sure all right we're starting off with a real just disappointment here spruce dd pad hand wraps i don't think i've ever seen anyone own these again you know i think when it comes down to the dd pat camo skins they only really look good if they have camera reflection and gloves don't have reflections like that therefore this just looks like it just looks like an army kind of mid pattern it just doesn't look good in my opinion it's it's very underwhelming for the hand wraps because their hand wraps tend to be on a little bit of a cheaper side of of wraps or of gloves i just don't know about these the, the thing about these gloves is I won't go out and say they look bad per se. There's nothing that stands out about them. The color's yeah. mediocre. The pattern's mediocre. Everything about this glove is mediocre. It's hard to make it work with anything, you know, in terms of knives and inventories. I just... just it, it's not bad, but I, it's, just, it's definitely, I think, a C tier. All right, next up, we have the Desert Shamas. And a lot of people tend to not like these gloves. I actually think they're pretty cool. They, we talked about it. They look designer they do have a bunch of brown here right it's similar to you know a rattler or whatever but these make it you know it's nice it's like a chocolatey type of color which looks pretty decent simple pattern these are pretty decent in my opinion you know nothing stand out they're not bad by any means and i think you can make them work with certain loadouts maybe like if you did like a gucci one you use like a calf skin with this or something i think it look would look pretty cool yeah i mean i have a soft spot for these gloves i really like the pattern like the little gucci pattern on them and I just think that, again, yeah, despite them being brown, it's the type of brown, right? This brown is more so like a chocolatey, a little more rich with this nice tan contrast. With the other skins, it's like brown and poop brown and then like fucking mud brown. So it just <laughs> looks, it's just a lot of brown that looks bad with each other. This actually yeah. looks really nice. I think this is a solid B tier B tier, glove. B tier, for sure. Next up, we have the Badlands gloves, which I think personally is a camo skin done right. The only problem I have with these gloves is the inner wrapping is a pretty bad color. I don't know why they picked this type of weird, like, olive green. They probably could have gone with, like, a nice black. If it would have, like, the darker colors that are on the actual camo pattern, these would be actually gas. I wouldn't even lie. Uh, as for camo-related skins, I think, or camo-related gloves, I think these are actually quite nice. And I can see the appeal behind these. Yeah, they're quite vibrant nice like like you said they have they did the camo you know design pretty well they're vibrant they're also quite cheap you know they're they're good for what they are uh yeah. b tier b tier for sure all right next up we have cautions and i have a hard time rating these because i do really like these i like the idea behind it you know we have caution tape lines they're pattern based you could get some really cool patterns you know with the the caution or the danger writing also the warning my one issue with these gloves is that when we have that huge patch for all the gloves in january what happened is these they lost a ton of saturation so instead of you know the typical black and uh the black and yellow now it's gray and yellow which definitely drops it a bit for me i still love these gloves you can make them work uh i appreciate them yeah i mean i think these are kind of the wild card of gloves when they come down to it really you're looking at these very noisy bright popping yellow gloves that don't really fit the mold of a lot of other gloves that are in the game and to me i gotta give it credit for uniqueness because the sure. idea of wrapping danger tape and like caution tape that you'd find at like a construction site around your hands is just so funny to me 
and and I think they're they're actually relatively good looking. So I can't hate on them. I can't say that they deserve a low tier, but I do agree with that. I wish the black was a little darker, and I think if that were the case, these would be an easy A tier. But I think they deserve B tier. B tier for sure. So really nice. B tier. B tier. All right, so we have the, the infamous duct tapes. Now, I know that these have a bit of a cult following behind them, uh, and I will say they are quite funny. However, let's look at it objectively. While the cautions were really unique because they're caution tape, this is dead-ass duct tape. In fact, I think we said that last time, but the fact that you'd be paying more than it would cost to buy duct tape in real life and make these is kind of hilarious to me. I think the gloves are just like, they're, they're okay. They're funny, but they're not good. Okay, like they're, they're they're funny, but they're not good, and I don't think they deserve like anything above a C tier, in my opinion. A hundred percent, yeah. They, they they have the you know meme factor to them, but if you really just look at it, you know, as a pair of gloves without external factors, it's literally just you know gray. There's there's yeah. gray and white, and, and and no design, no nothing. It's just duct tape. I mean, can we really put them any higher than C tier? I don't think so. All right, finally, we have gotten to some good gloves the cobalt skulls excellent blue color they're pattern based you can get like different orientations of like you know rare patterns with big skulls you know uh you have a lot of potential with these they look great they match with uh sapphires they match with base for uh dopplers they look excellent they're the vibrant color i mean everything about this glove is excellent they really fit the hand wrap format as well i think these are wonderful I think these are hand wraps done really well. The royal blue pairs with so many different skins. I mean, you think about the emperor, you think about uh, any Hyper of Beast. the Hyper Beast. Uh, Hyper Beast. Really well with that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All these really pretty blue skins just look so nice, these hand wraps. The inner blue is a nice contrast to the lighter blue wrap. The skulls are badass on them. I mean, come on, you can't really go wrong with something like Dude, these the are absolute w first a tier a tier easy yes A-tier. sir we got our first a tier and it's actually hand wraps you see guys it's not all price based okay all right and next up we got the overprints aka the thumbnail slate thumbnail special <laughs> hand wraps uh now yes. there's a reason why they did be in the thumbnail this much they are really pretty the light blue with the uh dark darker kind of i'm not really sure what color that is like kind of blackish uh color and the interior looks really nice you get this is pattern based you can get chevrons you can get the kind of the like flowers uh, flowers and, and you can also the get pattern. the exactly so there's so much variety with these gloves the only problem i have with them now is that they kind of the last pass they they, they they nerfed the color on them they used to be so blue now they're kind of like less blue but they still look great so i mean no doubt they're still amazing that was the only thing i wanted to mention is yeah last pass the saturation went way down so instead of the super light you know cyan color that we had before now it's a lot more muddy i still think these gloves are excellent they have great potential they work with you know your um ak neon riders anything that's bright you know neon colors looks great overall i think these gloves are excellent and uh i think objectively it really should go on b tier yes if it was the previous colors it would be a tier yeah all right next up we've got giraffes and uh, it's it's a weird glove i mean they do work you know, in terms of like the animal print type of glove, they work. I just don't know a lot of people who do enjoy these. I'm not one of them personally. I, I don't really enjoy this type of animal print. I never have liked giraffe print on anything. And I'm talking about real life, video games, etc. I always think it looks ultra tacky. I just think that giraffe print doesn't look good on these hand wraps because just it just looks really tacky and corny. It looks like something that came straight out of the 80s. They're okay. C tier. Okay, so we have uh, the Royal Forest. Yep. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So uh, as expected from all type of forest type camo gloves and skins and anything, it's just a standard green and brown glove. It has this kind of nice brown, admittedly, with the boring ass green. I mean, these Call of Duty looking gloves. I just don't know. These are just so boring. There's not really anything I can really say. They're boring as hell. I really, I don't know what to add. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's just camo. I mean, really, it's just boring gloves. Uh, I don't think they're per, per se D tier, but I think they're bottom of C tier. 
bottom of C tier. They're just real boring. Yeah, these are these are sussy. Uh, I don't know what to say about these. These I don't know how they don't look good. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think they look good. They look weird. Maybe there's some sort of meme factor to you know leather wraps. I, I you you could pair this maybe with a rust coat or something. I I don't know. They don't have a lot of potential. They don't look great. I don't personally like them. They look like beef jerky to me. <laughs> Like beef jerky ass gloves. Now, honestly, they used to look kind of decent in CSGO, yeah. if I recall. They they upscaled the leather, but then it kind of looks terrible. Again, it was like beef jerky to me, yeah. so I'll call these the Jack Slinks gloves from now on. Valid. Uh, the, the, the Slim Jim? Slim, Slim Jim, Jim gloves? Where are the Slim Jim gloves going? D tier or C tier? D tier, bro. D -tier, D -tier. I'm sorry, these are not good looking. <laughs> not at not all. Good looking. All right, so we have another snake skin. It seems like they have a quota. There must be someone on the Valve staff that loves snake skin because, like, I think one of every glove has a snake skin type of thing. Yeah. These are actually kind of decent. I won't lie. I think I'm not a big fan of snake skin looks, but I have to say the color on them is actually quite nice. And that to me makes them a lot better than what you might find on, like, the Rattler, where it's like just looks ugly. Yeah. yeah the yeah. color is nice. The pattern is okay, but I, I am a, I am impartial to these. The good thing about these is that these work really well with Battle Scarred Rust Coats. The, these are one of the only gloves in the game that do that, so props, you know, for that. While they don't look the best, they have a lot of positives to them, and if you like these gloves, you can definitely make it work with inventories and, uh, you know, Rust Coats. So... You Should we give what? it a, the benefit of the doubt and I put it in B tier? tier because we B tier, B -tier. B -tier. Actually, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. This is a B tier, yeah, for sure. Next up, we've got Slaughter, and these are, I haven't seen them in a minute, but these are super vibrant red. Holy, wow, okay. Colors look great. Uh, decent pattern, you know, it's just your standard Slaughter pattern. Uh, these look pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised at how these turn out. Probably look great with red knives, red inventories, uh, on the cheaper side of things in terms of general glove price. Um, these are pleasant gloves, and I do like the texture on them. Yeah, I won't lie. I, I don't remember seeing these uh, ever in really game randomly, but these look considerably better than they did in CSGO, in my opinion. For sure. Um, These are solid. It's really between A and B. Do they deserve A tier is the question. You know, I, I kind of want to say yes, because they seem like the red equivalent to the Cobalt Skulls. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could agree with that. I, you know what I'm scared of is... I, I feel like Cobalt Skulls are a notch above them, though. And so yes, are overprints. I can agree with that. I yeah, feel like you know, I do like the overprints more. They have a lot more variety. So okay, yeah, B tier. That's because I feel like good. cobalt skulls are just like a significant notch above all the other hand wraps. I agree. They do. They just are executed really well. We have the crimson weave driver gloves now. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was oh, waiting man. on. Man, okay. So I, I was gonna say. I didn't quite understand what Slade meant by these are ass, but yeah, no, these are, okay, let's, let's, let's break it down. The red looks nice. The red looks nice. I like the red. Why okay. is it brown? Why is it not black? I don't know why that's the brown is the other colors I had to pair with. If it was black, okay, he'd be cooking. But right now, these are um, kind of trash and the blue mesh on like these just on the So palm, it's just out of place. Um, it starts the brown that kills it. It's yeah. just the brown. What is this brown color? Why? They it's had so miserable. much potential. So much. It's and, miserable. And they're not bad gloves, okay? Overall, they're not bad gloves. But that brown color, really, it had so much potential and it got demolished by the terrible, awful choice of the inner palm. Uh, C tier for me. I I'm taking anything in B tier over that. Yeah. Like, I honestly would. Like, I'm yeah. taking any yeah. of these before these... Next up, we've got Lunar Weave, and uh, these are a lot more pleasant than the Crimson Weaves. Um, I do like the inner palm. The inner palm on this is sweet. Uh, it's got this nice, like, uh, almost like a gray-blue color to it. It uh, looks excellent, I think. You know, obviously, the secondary color is brown, but it works here. Um, the pattern's decent, like the checkerboard. Uh, you can make this work with a lot of night stripes, stuff like that. It will work really nicely, and for the price they sit at, I think it's a pretty decent deal if you like these. Okay, so the Lunar Weave is pretty solid. I really like the inner palm. I really, really like the inner palm. I think it looks super pretty. Um, the black on it looks good. This is the black that should have been on the Crimson Weave. 
I think they're okay. I, I'm not gonna say they blow me out the you know blow me out the water. I think they're all right. I would say they're they deserve a B tier. B tier for sure. Easy, easy B tier. Here we have a real juicer here. We have the Imperial Plaids, aka one of the only purple gloves in the game. For that alone, I think that deserves some credit. But just aside from that, this is objectively one of the prettiest gloves ever. Ever they did a last pass, the purple on it just pops. Oh yeah. And it just looks so nice. And they're not like mind-blowingly expensive either like they're actually really reasonably priced for some purple gloves for the only other purple gloves in the game so for that alone i i like these a lot i know that people that don't like these call these the granny gloves i don't care i still think they look great the like sewn in pattern looks nice they are pattern based by the way so you can get you know you can swap out how much purple or blue you have on them once again like you mentioned one one of the only two in the game that are purple and huge uh huge props for that the actual like hexagon pattern has a deep purple color to it i think these are awesome gloves they look very nice and they work really well with any uh purple dobblers i agree with that a tier I, easy a tier easy a tier convoys genuinely atrocious i am sorry uh, i i am so sorry if you run these but i'm gonna be honest here i think these are genuinely awful diarrhea brown and green with the boring ass camo it just sucks it sucks it sucks uh, put them in after uh, it. dude it's not much the, everything that on these gloves the color the pattern was executed really really bad like really bad all right so we have the what is the Jaguar? arrow special <laughs> arrow special arrow <laughs> cs special um look i can't i'm i'm not gonna pretend like i like these a lot i don't hate them but I think they're they're also tacky. They kind of give me like I drive a one of one Corvette type of vibes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for that, I just can't say I love these. I they're not awful, but it's they only work really with one skin that I can think of, and that's the Jaguar, I believe. Mm -hmm. That that's mm -hmm. all it works with. Uh or sorry, Pantera Onca. Yeah, it works with the Pantera Onca. That's about it. I don't like the colors. I I I think these are pretty mid C, C or B. Yes, I'm sorry, you C for me, but uh, I just don't a C like C for me as well. Right. Top of C, but I really don't like them. Animal print plus the brown color. I'm sorry, Arrow, but uh, we're gonna have to put them in C. <laughs> On to the King Snakes, and right off the bat, we've mentioned how we're not the biggest fans of snakeskin patterns, but it it works here really well. Actually, really well. They are full white. Well, nearly full white. We'll get to that a little bit later. But these are like almost full white. These are like grayish white. It's very clean. You ma you can match it with whatever you pretty much want. It's very neutral. Snake pattern done right here. You know, we have a lot of variation in the patterns themselves. You will have to find a cleaner wear pattern so that the knuckles aren't destroyed because, it, you know, it does tear up the gloves pretty bad with higher wear. And the actual like little inner palm, you know, pattern is very clean as well. It's got this like um you know designer look to it uh these are clean gloves and i'm a fan of them even though i don't like snakeskin pattern you know before we actually started filming this we were kind of discussing some of the gloves and i was like yeah i don't know how i feel about these but actually after seeing these in game they're pretty damn nice i i'm not a big fan of snakeskin either but i think this is snakeskin done well really it well. gives me those really clean boots you know what i'm saying with <laughs> the, the alligator nice threes white. Yeah, alligator threes looking like a look about the pulps of the the bayou. Like these are kind of nice stuff. So <laughs> I will say they deserve a rightful A tier for sure. We have one of the biggest glow ups from CS Go. Okay, I wish I had bought these before before CS Two had dropped because God damn, are these some clean gloves? We have the black ties, and all I can really say about it is you got the Agent Forty Seven type of vibe black and also just look at the contrast on the inner palm this is the cleanest white i think i've seen in the game and almost gives you the almost, same white. almost 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 there is one more cleaner white but we'll get to that later this is one of the cleanest whites in the game and i mean yeah it's it's just like i'd say white. like 95 percent white five percent gray like it's almost exactly. nearly full white black on gray you got the panda style you know colors they're very classy they're clean um i like the stripe on the you know around the thumb uh, it looks very nice as well pair them with whatever you want but black clams look excellent with these gloves these are super nice uh it's an easy a tier easy a tier these are beautiful 
in my personal opinion, these are tied for the number one worst spot of the in worst gloves in the game with Gorillas. These are awful. This is the they picked the worst, scientifically engineered the worst green possible for these gloves. These are undeniably ash cheeks. I am so sorry. I, I these are so insanely bad. And look at the inner palm. Oh my god, it just gets worse. They're so bad. Come on. You know this. Okay, so <laughs> I remember my my roommate joined the call and we were looking at gloves at like 2 a.m and he was like bro they're not that bad and then he he, <laughs> he equipped them and he's like okay i changed my mind they're that bad these are horrible these gloves look so bad this green only looks good on cars and i don't know why i decided to put on leather gloves with this disgusting brown interior palm <laughs> it just looks like he slathered that in mud it looks horrible and for that they go in F -tier, F -tier. Like, no, they are trash. Now, for the driver gloves, I won't lie, I would rather get the King Snakes for snake skins, but these are not terrible. I think the brown on them looks fine, the snake skin pattern looks fine. I'm just not a big fan of snake skin, but if you own a pair of snake skin boots, you're probably busting at seeing these gloves. I won't even lie, you're probably like, damn, these are clean. I don't think so, but I think you do you. These are okay. Yeah, not my cup of tea. I appreciate them though, you know. I think they work, uh, colors are fine, and uh, I won't personally run them, but I think they're pretty decent gloves. I don't want to disrespect them by putting them in C, but I personally want to put them in C. I think they deserve to go in C. Well, I don't think they're beat here. Absolutely love these gloves. I always love to tell, you know, newcomers in CS2, what gloves should I get that are cheap, look good, work with yellow inventories? always your go-to yes they are brown and yes they got nerfed where the inner color is now you know uh like darker i still think these are great gloves because the actual like suit whatever that pattern is you know whatever the pattern oh, on the did. back of the gloves is it works really nicely with that yellow color the stripe looks nice inner palm being yellow looks great these are excellent budget you know option it's one of my personal favorite budget options and i ran these for a while when i didn't have gloves and I, I loved them. I enjoyed them. Yeah, they are honestly quite nice. I think these are these are an excellent uh, sleeper pick and also a budget friendly beginner pick. If you really want a pair of gloves and you are gonna, you know, torture yourself with some shit ass rattlers, don't do that. Buy these instead. These yeah, are like for twenty bucks so more. So much better. Yeah, yeah, they're just so much better. I think these are fantastic. I would get a pair if I wanted to get a pair of gloves. B -tier, I think B tier for sure. Yeah. All right, so we got Razan the Red, and actually, these look significantly better than they did in CSGO. The red is a lot brighter, and the inner palm black is quite nice. The only problem I have with it is the stitching is weirdly beige. If the stitching was black, these yeah, would actually be kind would, of insane. That would look crazy, yo. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I think these are pretty good gloves. Um, stitching being beige is definitely throwing it off a bit. Uh, these work really well. If you try this out with like a wildfire, it looks really nice. And uh, the inner palm being black is a huge bonus to it because it makes it that much more clean. I think these are solid gloves. Honestly, B tier uh, for me, I these work lo low B tier, bottom of B tier, but I think these are solid gloves. Next up, we've got the Snow Leopards, and they cooked with these. I absolutely... I, I mentioned how I don't particularly like animal print, but this is done right. You know, we've got... Once again, we've got like a 90% white, 10% uh, gray, you know, main color, which I think looks really nice. I love the black on white design. Um, inner palm, tough. It looks great. Uh, we've got white on black. Uh, the And I also like to call them little ghosts. It, it looks like ghosts to me. Uh, on the back of the hand, I, I don't know, I just associate it uh, with, you know, little ghosts floating around. But I do really like these gloves. They stand out. They look great. I think these are absolutely sleek. I think these are the best animal print um, gloves in the game. I, they look so good. The white on the black. Again, the only thing is you kind of get them in a low float because the knuckles just get torn up. But that's honestly a driver glove thing more so than these just because they're white. They stick out a little bit more. These are just absolutely baller they look so nice and they're honestly if you want a white pair of gloves they're one of the few that won't absolutely annihilate your bank account getting them so a tier a tier 
Next up, we've got Turtles, and this is the green alternative for Moto Gloves. I do really like them. I like the little orange patches, the little orange spots on them. Uh, inner palm being gray is clean. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like, you know, the knuckles on these Moto Gloves, but uh, after that patch in January, I think it looks a lot cleaner with, like, the stitching on some of them. And I think it works here, too, with this darker green. I, I do like these gloves. won't say they're anything crazy, but I think these are solid gloves that really work with uh, budget green knives. Yeah, considering that a lot of green type of gloves, the really only other great pair of green gloves is very expensive. This is a great alternative. I don't, I personally like motos, like the way they look. So for me, it's not even like a problem for like the little nub. I know people don't like them, but I actually like them. So I think these gloves are quite nice. The orange accents are good. I think this is a nice B tier glove. For sure. So we have the blood pressures. These are weird gloves to me. I don't hate them, but I don't love the blood pressure look on them. I do like the colors. The red and the black look quite nice on them, especially the carbon fiber on it look really just just fits it. But it gives me, like, if you have trypophobia, these gloves are literally built to scare you. Okay, like, you see all the holes in them? This is a terrifying ass glove to wear if you have trypophobia. So I, I really have it, but I don't like them. So the people that like them, they really like them. And I get it why. Mm -hmm. Super solid colors, carbon fiber. Um, my only thing that throws it off for me personally is the, you know, this blood splatter type of design. But I do think these are solid gloves overall, honestly. Aside from my personal disdain for whatever this like goo pattern is, um, I think it would be fair to toss it in B tier. Okay, next up we've got finish lines. And they did they definitely got better in the latest patch i will say that i think mm. these gloves look tacky that's my biggest issue and that's yeah. because of this the, the the checkered you know pattern like i'm not trying to play chess on my gloves you know I'm, I'm trying to play cs2 and these are super distracting in that it's hard to match them the only thing that i've seen these work with is shadow daggers black laminate and uh i don't know the colors are just all over the place you know, yeah, the colors are just a little messy. I like the green on them, but I just can't get over the weird checkered flag. Like, if the checkered flag was inside the knuckles, I think it'd be more bearable. Honestly, if there just was no checkered flag, I think it'd be more bearable. I guess the point is supposed to be like a racetrack finish line, but honestly... Bottom of B tier or C tier for me? C tier for me. Yeah. All right, so we have the POWs. Now, these... I actually like a lot. I like the POWs. The orange, the white, and all just looks good with each other. Um, I don't remember it being brown. Did they change that? In the they the changed that. Like, yeah, they changed it. They made okay. it way more brown. I, I'm, not, I'm not against it. I think it looks... I like the chocolate brown on the... I think it looks pretty nice with the other colors. The orange stitching is quite good. I mean, you got the nice little bam, crack, POW, all the little different like uh, words. It just looks good. The POWs are excellent, in my opinion. For sure. I, I think these gloves are... Amazing. I really do enjoy these. I like how the base pattern, uh, the base color on the inner palm is white mixed with the orange. Inner palm looks super clean. Uh, you know, backside looks great as well. They stand out. They work with a lot of uh, fades as well. I think these are absolutely solid gloves. I am stuck between top of A and B tier. Uh, where would you think of putting them? I think they should go into A tier. Honestly, I, I, I genuinely think these are nice. pretty. Bottom of A tier, but I think they're really good yeah. gloves. We got the Commando gloves. I don't remember the, the full name. They're kind of... Third stupid. Commando uh, Company. Third, third Commando <laughs> Company. Aye, aye, Captain. Listen, these are <laughs> these are boring. I don't really know. They're green. Um, they have a red stripe on it. It looks kind of nice. Uh, okay, the colors are just not good. I just realized it looks like 80 bucks. They just don't look good. <laughs> it's just, they're they're pretty really. rough. They're honestly really rough. Uh, even with the latest patch, the main thing is just the, the absolute vomit of random colors. It's, it's the most random colors I've ever seen on a glove. It's all over the place. That's what really kills it for me. Uh, I, 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 I genuinely, I don't even know if it's a C tier. I, think I, I do think sure. everything in C tier is better than these. I, I, I completely agree with that. And finally, we get to the Spearmints. I'm going to go ahead and start this off by saying, I think these are the best gloves in the game, and it's not even close. There is nothing that comes close to these. Starting with the fact that these are full white, pure white, 100% white. There's no other glove in the game 
that does this. A, a, like the inner palm is absolutely gorgeous. Secondary color is a bunch of, you know, this mint color. Uh, the stitching is orange, so it highlights it very nicely. Inner palm is absolutely god tier. Backside, it's pattern based. You can get a bunch of different, you can get mainly white, you can get mainly mint. Um, the knuckles are like the, the standard stock brown color, which works here. Uh, these work with absolutely everything. They look amazing literally insane with gamma dopplers they work with literally everything you can pair this with red knives autotronics rubies and they work with pretty they literally work with everything they are just absolutely insane gloves they're the the definition of clean there's nothing cleaner in the game than these gloves in my opinion yeah i uh i always knew these gloves were very highly coveted and that people really respected them and then i remember i was running them inside of an inspect server and i was like god damn i understand the hype they are disgustingly clean they look so good with with gamma dopplers they look good with every skin they're pure white again like i said there's no it's 100 percent white this is what we we're talking about 95 percent. no it's 100 percent right here they look phenomenal they're worth the price tag spearmints are excellent which means and ladies and gentlemen they get a secret rank triple, triple s tier boom the booms were also recent or were were January. really buffed in the oh. uh in the patch that they did where they where they buffed all the gloves these look great the boom has the beautiful red stitching on it now which looks phenomenal black gloves with a white secondary color and the red stitching just kind of works really well together some really nice white accents and they're also insanely cheap yeah i i absolutely love the new color this like chocolatey type of color on them looks great i did not really like them back in you know csgo or pre-patch cs2 now i think they look amazing I, I genuinely think these are absolutely clean gloves i think top of b top of b valid let's do top of b all right, next up, we've got Smokeouts, and I think these gloves are elite. They are absolutely amazing. Black on gray, we've got a pattern-based, you know, backside where we have smoke patterns. We have a nice light blue for the stripe, the little swoosh, the inner palm, full black. These are super clean. You can match them with white uh, knives, with white skins, and black as well. You know, it, it's got super... It's got a lot of variation in what you can pair with these. They look clean on their own. They look clean with vanillas. I think these are absolutely wonderful gloves and they are just perfect, honestly, with uh, with what they have to work with in terms of color. Smokeouts are excellent. These are the moto equivalent of the black ties and you can just see it in the beautiful black and white contrast with the new little smoke patterns that they updated. It's super unique. These gloves are, I think, highly underrated. I don't see people talking about them, probably because they're moto gloves. And I think, yep. honestly, it's fucked up. I think these are, do not deserve the flack that they get because these are lovely. Yeah, I genuinely think these are A tier. I seriously do. I, I People under underestimate how good these gloves look because they're moto gloves. And I think people should come around on moto gloves more because they're cheap, lots of different colorways, and they look excellent, honestly. All right, so we have the Spearmint's little brother, the Cool Mints. Now, you, not really much I can say about it besides that these gloves are really nice. The beautiful darker blue with the, instead of white, it's these like type of faint blue undertones look really good. White accents. I think these gloves are, are, are a solid steal. You know, you can't ask for more for the price and the look of them. Yeah, I think these gloves are wonderful. They are the little brother of Spearmint's. Um, nice pattern base. They have the nice like light blue color that is pretty rare on gloves. Uh, they look solid. They are actually a little bit pricey for moto gloves because people realize these actually look really good. Oh, and uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're not like expensive by any means, but they are more expensive than most moto gloves. Uh, these are absolutely solid gloves. Easy A tier. All right, um, next up, we've got polygons, and I don't have much to say. They're solid. It's, uh, you know, we've got this, like, different shape pattern on the back. Lots of different uh, dark blues and light blues mixed together. The patterns on the patches on the inner side. It's a solid glove. It looks great. You can pair this with fa uh, Phase 4 Dopplers. And uh, overall, I think these are absolutely wonderful gloves. Great for the price. They're super cheap. I think these are a great budget pick for blue. I love these gloves. Yeah, I think for the budget, you really can't ask for much more pattern-based blue gloves with blue as the accent. Just looks really nice. And I think that, again, for motos, 
you got a lot of versatility with these. I think you just you should consider getting these if you want a blue pair of gloves that actually looks nice. Um, and maybe you don't want to fork out a little bit of extra that Cobalt Skulls might cost. This is a good alternative. Maybe not your favorite type of model glove, but I think these look great. For that reason, it's it's A or B for me. I don't know if it quite hits the A mark for me personally. I think I it's know absolute it top a. of B. Absolute B top sure. of B. All right, so we have our final pair of moto gloves. Um, these are the transports. These are the Operation Desert Storm moto gloves. They are yellow, and that's all I can really say about them. They're kind of yellow, deserty color. Peanut they're not butter. like awful. Uh, peanut, yeah, they're, 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 they're not terrible, but they're not my favorite. I think when it comes to yellowish gloves, there's way better options um, that are coming up at least that have yellow in them. So. Uh. They're okay. Yeah, they're all right. I don't have much to add. It's just full peanut butter color. If you like these, you know, this color, you're going to love these. I think they're B tier. Oh boy. Okay. Starting specialist gloves off with the Forest DD pad. These are pretty mid. I'm not the best colors. Um, there's one great glove knife combo I came up with these. is is the lore knives. Look very nice with this. You can make it work that way, but that's about it. They're very limited on combos and inventories. Uh, by themselves, they're below average in my opinion bad colors weird pattern i mean it's camo so eh, they're eh these dead ass looks that you can find inside like home depot for the people who love like camo like they're just kind of boring and the colors don't look great on them and i think it's just a waste of such an like i actually really like how specialist gloves look so it's just such a waste of like the glove i just don't think it's a good slot for them eh. c tier c tier like they're okay i guess yeah we are on to another juicer pair of gloves. We have the Fade Specialist gloves. Now look at these gloves. The black inner palm with the beautiful purple-ish out to your indigo. Maybe it's a better color description. And of course, because they're Fade, you have the mango colored Fade. You know, the red, the or the pinkish, the yellow, the purple. I, are these, these are pattern-based, right? Insanely pattern-based. Insanely, Insanely pattern-based. Pattern -based. I mean, come on. These Did you compare? Beautiful. You could literally pick out the color that you say you like a knife, and you could literally pick a pattern and pick the colorway of these gloves. S massive bonus. They look they're bright. They have the nice fade CS2 finish where it's like very reflective, very bright. I think these are absolutely amazing gloves. Huge potential that they were executed perfectly. I'm deciding between S and A, honestly. Like, this might be a new S. Because I, I messing around with these and testing the colorways on these, it's just so much variation, so much, you know, potential for amazing combos. You know what? Throw into S tier. Throw into S tier. Yeah, a after, you know, seeing all the... Because I've seen all 1,000 patterns of these, and there's just so much there that you can pick from and choose and mix. It's just an absolutely gorgeous glove. All right, next up, we've got the uh, IKEA gloves, otherwise known as the field agents. And uh, they're pretty simple. You know, we've got the yellow on blue, the yellow Tortu logo, the blue background. Uh, they, they, they look solid. It's a nice color combo, but they don't have anything else to really stand out with. And that's about it. Yeah, I mean, these are just kind of boring. Not like in a bad way, though. They're just kind of standard, you know, blue and yellow. That you can't really ask for much more of a difference. Uh, I do think it's kind of funny how they do like IKEA gloves. Um, again, so I think you can probably find like a home improvement store. Uh, <laughs> I would say these are these are fine. You know, they're not like blowing me away. I say B tier, right? Something like that. Maybe even C tier. B tier. Uh, B tier. I would be okay B tier. B tier. B -tier. B -tier. Top, somewhere top of B tier. Yeah, compared to C tier, I'd probably run these for sure. All right, so we have the buckshot gloves. Um, listen, you know these just don't look good. I don't. Oh my god! Well, the green on it. The inner it's palm not is bad. Nice. It's not bad. The inner palm is, but the, uh, the, the outer, the outer palm. palm. Boy, I'm not sure what the hell is going on with these. These do not look good. Yeah, I don't have anything to add. They just suck. They really do. They're pattern based, but they it, it's really washed out colors. Genuinely, uh, C tier. Oh, I, I was gonna do D tier. But I think these are... Are you sure you don't want to do D tier? Let's do D tier. Never mind. These oh, suck. Yeah, these, are, these, are bad. these are pretty bad. All right. Next up, we've got an absolute banger of a specialist gloves. And that's the Crimson Kimono. In my opinion, best red gloves in the game. They're pattern based. The pattern itself is super nice. You can get max gray, max red patterns. Uh, tasteful inner side where it's like all gray with a red outline. Backside just looks absolutely gorgeous. Match this with red knives, anything like, you know, marble fade fire and nice, or maybe a autotronic rubies. It all looks good in my opinion. Absolutely by far the best red glove in the game. They look royal with their 
pattern design. I think these are absolutely gorgeous and absolutely like elite in terms of design. I yeah, uh, I mean I'm, I'm completely with them. I think these red gloves, just the red on the shade of the red looks great. The tortue this red looks great. The black contrast looks amazing. The fact that they're so pattern based is so awesome to me because you can pretty much pick out what type of glove you want with these. Similar to the fade. And I think specialist gloves really are kind of the kings of pattern based gloves. In that case, I mean, listen, you know, we put this, we put the other rank there for a reason. Yeah, and know, this is the, going. in our opinion, second best glove in the game. Triple Crimson F kimonos F are yeah. absolutely king. All right, so we have the cousin of the fade specialist gloves, the marble fade specialist gloves. Now, these are not pattern based for whatever reason. I could not tell you. I will say the inner palm looking quite red is very nice. The outer palm is kind of a dullish color. I think it was a little brighter. I like it a little bit more. Um, I would really like it more if they were pattern based. Again, I don't know why they're not, um, but they're yeah, still good. The I'm only really thing like. that changes with patterns is the the colors all stay in the same spots. But what changes is like the streaks, right? It's like the, the little like similar with uh, Dopplers where you got like the dark spots. The dark spots change. And that really brings it down a notch for me because I can't really mess around, you know, customize where the colors are. You know, I can't really match it up with the uh, marble fades because the colors are stuck where they are. So that really brings it down. But overall, the aesthetic of these is pleasant. They look decent. They look pretty good. It's just they were really hindered by the, you know, uh, the pattern potential, which really sucks for me. I mean, they're low A tier. They they really do yeah, deserve A tier, but they're 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 really nice still. All right, next up, we've got the Home Depot gloves, which are the foundations. And uh, these are the probably the most slept on and not in like a people don't realize they're amazing type of thing. People don't realize they exist. <laughs> like they're, they're just so under the radar. It's a little bit weird of a color choice. Gray on, you know, orange. I, I don't think it's bad per se, but it's just a weird color choice. And the actual pattern, and they are super pattern based, but it's just a specialist. Uh, I, I don't really like how that looks personally i i think it looks a little tacky but they do work with the one you know big benefit is they work with asimov skins really well so if you're a, you have a whole you know orange and white asimov collection these could work for you other than that they're pretty mid i just don't know why they have the specialist like etching as the pattern like i that would, these would be so much better without those yeah that, i mean I really have to that's it <laughs> b tier yeah all right Oof. we have the lieutenant commander specialist gloves um oof, yeah oof, i don't oof. really have much to add the, the, why are there so many colors on here you got blue you got white you got yellow you got beige i just don't know why there's all these colors you got like green it's just a clusterfuck of colors and i don't really like them i think what really kills it for me is that yellow if yellow yeah. and the the yellow and the beige just is yellow completely highlighter. out of place and they are pattern based you know we've got a water you know like um Similar to the knives, we've got this like water pattern, but it's still kind of camo. I don't know. These are super clunky in terms of design and, and the colors they chose for these. Uh, C tier for me, honestly. Definitely. If they kept the blue as the main color and it has the accent, I think it'd be so much better. For sure. All right, next up, we've got Tiger Strikes, and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, we've got the nice Tiger Stripe design on the back of the palms. Nice, you know, got burnt orange, brown to light orange. Very nice shades of color. The white really fits on the, you know, the the thumb and the outlines of the little patches. Tortu logo being yellow is great. Inner palm, you know, standard brown with white stitching. I think these gloves look beautiful. They really nail the Tiger A aesthetic that... Sorry, Tiger aesthetic, and um, I do. I really like how they look. The colors are beautiful. Yeah, no, these are these are lovely. The orange on it is so crisp. The white on it, very nice contrast. The tiger striping on the back is super cool. The brown complements it very well. Uh, these are. I don't see enough of these, in my opinion. I don't For see enough sure. of these, yeah, and yeah, I want yeah, to see yeah. more of these because these gloves are super duper nice. Super easy A tier, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, oh, 100% A tier. All right. So we have the Crimson Web Specialist Gloves. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit of a Crimson Web hater, okay? No, crucify me. I just think it's a very boring type of pattern. It's just webs. Uh, it looks a little better than it does on the knives because it's red webs versus black. But I just, come on. Compared to the Crimson Kimono... 
Crimson Web, a... Crimson Kimono. To me, the choice is obvious on what I'd rather have. Yeah, the only issue, obviously, is the price. massive price difference. But I will say, as a red pair of gloves that's pattern-based, you have to give it credit because it does deliver. You know, it's just solid red Ooh. on the patches and Ooh. it's pattern-based. A great inner palm. The full, you know, like build of this glove with the colors and the patterns is solid. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna say it's one of the best gloves in the game. It definitely is not. But I think it's an absolutely solid glove pair. For me, it's really between A and B. I, I, I personally, I would put it in B, but I, I do think they deserve A because it does look better than a. these gloves. They deserve A, but if it was up to me, they'd go in B. Next up, we've got moguls and um. You know, these are the odd gloves. They they are pattern based. They honestly I appreciate this is gonna be very divisive. Some people might hate this pattern that they have on the back with like the, the dark blue, light blue, gray. I think it looks pretty cool. You can find some nice patterns. They they, they look decent overall. You know, the blue on gray does work. Um you can find, you know, knives that will work with these gloves as well. Uh, it looks pretty decent with this vanilla as well, I, I have to mention. But I'm I'm not gonna personally go out and run these. I don't you know, I don't like them that much. Yeah, I mean, they're decent. I think that's a really good way of putting it. The blue, royal blue inner palm looks really, really nice. But I, I don't think, like, they're, like, a knockout of the park. They're solid, and I think they're not super expensive. So, I mean, I would not judge you for owning these. I think these are actually fairly decent. B tier. B tier. That, that's, yeah, I think it's an easy B tier. All right. For our first pair of sports gloves, we have the Omegas. Now, look. I, I've heard some people say these are kind of boring, okay? I don't know where you're coming from. These are crispy. Black and yellow. They're the cleanest black and yellow gloves in the entire game. Also, not like there's none of the many, but they definitely are up there. Um, the pattern on the back is super cool. Uh, they used to be kind of have god tier wear, where like you didn't matter what float you got them in, they just wouldn't wear at all. I, I mean, I think that was just a weird thing when CS2 came out, but damn, I mean, come on. These gloves look minty. Without a doubt, these are one of my favorite gloves in the game, and I think they look great. Uh, I absolutely agree on everything. I think they're absolutely wonderful. They I don't know why they went in down in price, because I think they look absolutely amazing. Look the, the yellow triangles, the yellow cuffs, they really stand out. They're crispy. I think this is, I mean, I feel like you would agree with the A-tier placement. Oh, 100%. I, I don't think they deserve anything crazy like S-tier, because they're definitely better gloves, but it is damn nice. A -tier, for, for sure. sure. The, these are... A topic for debate for a lot. Personally, when they changed them to this gray color, I utterly hated it. Genuinely, I hated it. But I will, you know, mention the good parts, and that's the pink color. One of the only ones to have full pink. They work really nicely with phase two Dopplers. I mean, that's about it. They do, they do work with vanillas. They do work with the uh, diamond gems, blue gems. They are very bright. They serve the purpose of being the bright, you know, like Miami Vice type of, uh, you know, highlighter, neon colored uh, gloves. And it works. They work. They're, they're clean in that regard. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of them, I do understand them. And I will have to say that they are nice gloves. They must have like some sort of op at like Valve HQ that just hated these gloves for whatever reason. And just decide to give it like the weird gray color. They objectively look better before. But I mean, they're not like terrible now. They just look way not as good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. a big fan of this gray. Um, but yeah, they are very unique. Look, as much as I hate to say it, I do when you compare them to everything else, the colors mixed with the design. I mean, it's either top of A tier or S tier. I like, they might have to get S-tier, and I, I don't really like them that much to put them in S-tier, but I do think they deserve S-tier. I'm the same way. I truly think, in my heart, they deserve an A-tier, but they are very unique, one of a kind, so I think S-tier is where it has to be placed. Alright, next up we've got Hedge Mazes, and before I was an absolute Spearmint fanatic, these were my go-tos. Now, I want to start this by saying, in CSGO... I don't know if people remember this, but hedge mazes in CSGO, in my opinion, were the best gloves in the game by a mile. The hedge maze pattern was 3D, so it just looked unbelievable. 
in CS2, they first started off with like a duller green, but they did get buffed in that January update and they're much greener now. And I think these look sweet, absolutely gorgeous gloves, white inner palm. We've got this like little, it's really hard to see, but it's got the Icarus pattern um, on the, mm -hmm. you know, palm. The green, like I said, it got buffed, it's brighter. They're super vibrant, the gray color in the middle and the white cuffs and triangles, absolutely gorgeous gloves. Apparently they don't wear now, like point thirties look the same as point twenties. I don't know how that works, but uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. They all look literally the same after like point twenty five. I think these are absolutely sweet and they're gorgeous green gloves. You know, I remember how heartbroken Slay was when they initially dropped in CS two because I won't even lie, they did look exceptionally mid. Uh, besides the fact that they wore like they got ran over by fifteen trucks. The green was dull. They weren't three D but these gloves definitely got their facelift and i feel like they're they're approaching their their previous status okay there's a few things that would really just make these back to the top of the pack it'd be amplifying that 3d effect i know they have it okay i know the normal maps in this game are capable so they need to bring it back and second off what slay didn't mention was they used to have a kind of glowing blue type of right lect pattern on the back of the black so yep. they were very unique for that uh still being they are still excellent gloves so they deserve the an best. excellent placement s tier, s -tier. of course of course we have the scarlet shama sports gloves now first things first these are the oddball sports gloves because they do not have one of the two traditional sports glove finishes on the back you either have the hexagon pattern that you see on the vice and omegas or you have the kind of other pattern but this is weird because these are like driver gloves i in fact i think to someone if you didn't really know what to look for you would probably call these driver gloves yeah. these have the gucci design on them um but there's not really much to speak of they're kind of red gucci and i think there's the pat the inner palm is super nice with the red and the black but i do think there are better red gloves for sports gloves and we'll get to those later for sure. Uh, I think these are a little overhated, and that's because people can't pronounce the name. <laughs> like, really, I don't understand why. Uh, maybe people might not. Well, uh, maybe people don't like these because the pattern covers all of it. You know, it's not like with hedge mazes where the sides are green and whatnot. You know what I mean? Um, where the pattern's just everywhere. But I still think these are absolutely great gloves. They really work. They're on the cheaper side of sports gloves. The inner palm, I think, is exceptional because black on red looks very nice. Uh, these are absolutely solid gloves. They're pattern based. Uh, in my opinion, it's a uh, tier. Okay, next up we've got big games, and I know some people hate them, some people love them. These have insane potential. I've looked through literally all 1000 patterns for these. Y you know, you could match them with uh, Urban Masked, where the branches come off of the knife. You could have max yellow patterns, you could have max, you know, brown, which I don't know if, why you'd want that. But they have a lot of potential. They can be vibrant with the right pattern. You can make some cool, you know, crafts and combos and all sorts of stuff with these. Um, Inner Palm is great, gray on this, like, you know, yellowish orange color. I find these gloves to be decent. They're solid. You can make these work with a lot of things. They're not the best though. You know, I really like the colors on this glove, but I just cannot stand the tree branches, man. I don't know what it is about them. They just piss me off. <laughs> and I think if you were to remove the tree branches or get like a pattern that has like as minimal tree branches as humanly there's possible. There's a lot of those. There, there's patterns with no tree I branches. Would, I would run those. I would run them. But other than that, I'm not a big fan. They're okay. They're decent. B tier. B tier? Somewhere top of B tier. Sure. Yeah. We have the Knox gloves, aka the OEM Plus, aka the Agent 47 gloves. These are truly some of the most sleek black gloves in the game. Now, we didn't get a super duper dark pattern, but if you get like a tier one knocked, they are just straight up black. And, and I think the funniest thing is these got, these are one of the biggest buffed gloves. Oh, I would yeah. probably say when they did that pass because they were, they were atrocious before. They were pretty damn ugly. I, and now they are, they are quite nice. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. If you want an all black glove, this is your go to. People say, oh, they look, you know, similar to the regular, you know, stock that comes with the game. No, they don't. This is completely different. These are sports gloves with uh, a full black, you know, color scheme. We got the nice lines in the middle, the triangles, everything that comes with sports gloves you get here with the full black color. These are super sleek. They're excellent gloves and they easily deserve the A tier placement. Easy A tier placement. 
All right, next up, we've got another one of my personal favorites that I think people sleep on, and that's superconductors. I think these are gorgeous. They have a futuristic vibe to them, the nice shades of light blue on them, the white cuffs, white triangles. Inner palm has a nice uh, hexagon pattern on it, similar to the one on the back, and the one on the back, it does have like a rubberized, you know, look to it. I like it though. I think these are super unique. The colors were nailed here. I love the blue stripes running down the middle of it. Definitely gives it a, you know, futuristic feel. And I think these are amazing. Yeah, these are stunning gloves, in my opinion. The blue, the black, the white all works together in such beautiful contrast. You know why? Because there's a skin that works like that exactly. It's called the Vulcan AK-47. If you combine these two skins together, this, or this skin with that glove, oh my god. It looks juicy. Got and combo. without a doubt, I think this is one of the nicest sports clubs that we have available in the game. I think it's just going S tier. S tier it is. People probably will disagree with that, but I, listen, I don't really care. They're kind of juicy. They're S tier, bro. Easy. Next yeah. up, we have the Arid Sports Clubs. Now, these are like the transports done right to me. I like these gloves. I think a lot of people don't necessarily, are not very fond of this. But I think these are kind of cool. I like the desert type of look with the standard sports glove attire, the triangles, the lines in the middle. The brown looks really nice. And I actually, controversially, like the DD pat on the inner palm. I think these look really nice and are, are pretty slept on, in my opinion. Not much to add. Yeah, these are your solid uh, brown, you know, tan sports gloves. Uh, they look great. Not one of the standout sports gloves, but they do look good. And, you know, uh, they, they do make the DD pat, you know, pattern work here. For me, it's between A and B. I would like to put them in A because I'd probably rock them over everything else in, in B. B. For but sure. But definitely on the lower end of A. Next up, we've got amphibious gloves. And there's a huge, huge one factor that decides if these gloves are good or not, right? These gloves have the worst wear pattern I have ever seen in this game. At 0.10 float, which is minimal wear, minimal wear is exceptionally low for gloves. They look beat up. Don't even get me started on 0.20s and above. And they look demolished. They have disgustingly bad wear pattern. And I don't understand because when I'm looking at them, obviously these are zero float, so they're not going to have a wear pattern. And, and even Factory New has a lot of scratches, That's which is weird. crazy, yeah. crazy. But... You know, if you if you were to ask me by themselves like this, in fact, the Renew, how do they look? I think they're gorgeous. I think they're amazing. The water pattern looks really nice. The white accents on the cuffs, the triangles, it all looks wonderful. But the wear pattern. So if we don't take into account wear pattern, they're amazing. But man, that wear pattern. Good Lord. I would love to not look at wear pattern, but because you literally cannot get zero float, it's just, and I've seen it all the time in the Discord. People who own these are like, what the hell, man? I have a really <laughs> low flow, and it looks like they just they look terrible, and they do look really beat up for uh, no reason. Other than that, the blues on it are gorgeous. Royal blue, like uh, little islands on the top with the white uh, cuff, the white triangle, the white accents. The nice light blue, complimenting that royal blue, just looks phenomenal, but yeah i know I, I wish i would love to not count the wear pattern it's just too like notable okay if if they're factory new and minimal wear with a good wear pattern i think they're s tier anything below that bad wear pattern you know or field tested and lower is a tier so how do we want to rate this okay so the way i would say we rate this is because we did look at every glove at zero float I think they deserve to be an S tier. For sure. I, I do. We're, we're rating the design and the colors, not yeah. what where they're in. You know? But disclaimer, if you want to buy these, got, look hard because your gloves will look really beat up. Yes. You really, really, really need to find a good flow and wear pattern. All right. We have the watermelon gloves, a.k.a. the bronze morph. I won't even lie. <laughs> these are pretty bad. I and I, you know what? It's not the colors, it's the pattern. It has the amphibious pattern, but they put this ugly ass the watermelon <laughs> color on it, man. There's so much potential, and they just they decide to make it look a watermelon. I just don't, I just don't like these gloves at all. I I don't have much to add. I mean, the colors 
kill it for me. The colors are super vibrant. I will mention that. The colors yeah. on these gloves are super vibrant. They will work with red knives. They will work with green knives. That's about it. Everything else, it's just, it's some of the worst combos I've ever seen in this game. And uh, it's just such a polar opposite color match that just clashes terribly. C tier? Yeah. Okay, on to the infamous Pandoras. Now let's talk about it. When they made the inner palm instead of black, this like, you know, lighter gray uh, or lighter purple, I guess, purple gray color, I hated it. I genuinely hated it. I hated how they changed the line color. With that being said, though, I still think these are one of the best gloves in the game. Top three. The inner palm, you know, the, the little gremlin pattern is super cool uh really unique on these the beautiful purple color is it's the second and only you know uh purple sports gloves you know second being the imperial plaids these are gorgeous gloves obviously i just hated the nerf on them it doesn't bring it down for me a lot yes but they're so good that they still are going to be top three for me yeah, I mean, I had to agree with that. Again, there must have been some op at Valvish Q who just hated the Vice Gloves in the in the Pandoras because they just decided to nerf them out of nowhere. But I really do think these gloves are just such a standout that even with the change, they are still leagues above some of the other gloves in the game. And I don't have much to add. Beautiful, vibrant purple. They are the most expensive gloves in the game. I, it speaks for itself. It's the last and final Triple S of this uh, list. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we have the slingshot gloves. These are beautiful red, white, and beige gloves. I will say usually the beige is the is a point of criticism on a lot of gloves, but this actually looks really well with this red glove. And these used to be a little more drab, but they buffed them up with the past to make them super bright red. And I think they look gorgeous, look great with rubies look great with any type of red knife slaughters you can name it they all look good autotronic they look fan phenomenal i'm a big fan of these though i think these are very very pretty yeah super bright uh, super vibrant red color really like these the you know outlines of the triangles and the cuffs being white is really clean super clean red gloves one of the best in my opinion uh, i do think these are s tier i agree i agree it's definitely s tier all right, guys, so here's our final tier list. For those of you that just skipped to the end, here's how we ranked it. The top three best gloves in the game that are leagues above everything else. Spearmits, Kimonos, and Pandoras, they're the absolute best. Uh, S, we had a lot of sports gloves and the fade. We put the fade in S because of the insane, you know, uh, color matching where in the pattern based, uh, you know, colors where you could definitely mix around pinks, the purples, the yellows, and they look phenomenal on their own. A tier, all of these gloves are amazing. They have good quality traits about them. Either they're full black, they're full white. They have nice color matching of gray and yellow. You know, the, all the, all the A tiers are just absolutely gorgeous gloves. B tiers are all good. Uh, B tier for us was the middle ground, right? Uh, B tier was like pre either average or a little bit above average. And, uh, you know, we had a, a huge selection of gloves here. I would like to mention, it's not about price with these gloves. We take into account the patterns, the glove, you know, the glove knife combo potential, the design, you know, where the colors are laid out. So we, we looked at everything. That's why this video was so long is because we took a lot of yeah. time to really analyze the gloves and everything about them, you know? C tier was pre, you know, below average. They don't look great. They're not bad by any means, but they're not the best. D tier is bad gloves and F tier is just terrible. With that being said, guys, I think that's it. Yeah, that's, this is our revisiting our very first video, first tier list that we made. Yeah, that was a Hopefully while ago. <laughs> agree with this. Yeah, it was a while ago. And I think there's been a lot of changes in opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tell yeah. us what you think. Maybe you think the tier list is ass. Maybe you agree with us. Let us know why. Please, yes. If you, For those of you that say, oh, the terrible tier list. Well, please tell us why. We would like, uh, you know, it's everything is opinion based, right? This is completely opinion based, but we would love to hear from you on why, you know, you think oh, well, some of our rankings are incorrect. And if you agree, also let us know in the comments down below. Guys, if you watch the full video, absolutely appreciate you guys you know let us know if y'all like the uh longer form content as well we kind of took it you know slowed it down with this one made it a long form video to just binge so uh if you guys made it all the way through absolutely thank you i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and see you in the next one peace out guys